What's good, y'all? What's happening? It's your boy, Edgar, aka Mr. Edgar, aka Mr. Fresh, not mean. Uh, so today's Sunday, I got some time. I already took care of some business I had to do. So I'm gonna uh, do a little YouTube channel for you guys. So I ain't got that much far as I ain't tripping. I'm just, just having a good time, I mean? Something look like back into it, whatever. So today, 7.30, woke up. Had a meeting with one of my biggest clients yet. So if you guys don't know, I do kitchens just like I'm doing this one here. I'm actually staying at this house, like a three million dollar house. Talk about that in a bit. But we'll go back to 7.30 today. You know, cleaned up my stuff, whatever, cleaned up the house. I always gotta keep it clean. You know how I do. So um fucking started whipping, it was like 20 minute drive to meet with this client. He lives like by the Getty Center, by the 405. I don't know if you guys know where that's at, but it's a pretty nice area. There's a place called uh, Bel Air Creek or something like that. There's like a bunch of nice cars outside, nice houses. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, met with him. He's one of my biggest clients. Yeah, this guy is an owner of a clothing brand. I one of the biggest clothing brands, one of the most influential ones. I won't say his name. I'm not going to put the page out there. Because, you know, for privacy reasons, but, you know, it's, uh, I never thought that I was going to meet someone in the, someone like the line of work that I do. So it was, you know, it was, it was pretty fun. It was cool. And, um, so basically what I'm doing for him is, you can guess, in a kitchen. So I gave him the estimates. I'll show you guys the designs in a little bit of what his kitchen is going to look like. And basically the kitchen sold. I sold the kitchen today. Um, we're gonna start working on his, on his kitchen 10 days from now. So I am working on a few other projects And Yeah, woke up and then after that I came back over here got me some subway. You know what I'm saying about that healthy life Gotta get the chips I'm saying them sun chips. These are fire. You can never go wrong with those So for plan for today was taking care of business and just relaxing, you know what I'm saying? Usually I'm always doing something, I've never really had free time like this, so like today I'm gonna do a little something. So I'm gonna show you guys the house so yeah, you guys can see where I'm staying at. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Anyways, this is the backyard right here. As you guys can see, there's freaking leaves everywhere. It's a freaking daily struggle. This is the kitchen. It's got a nice little overhang, you know what I mean? <coughs> Excuse me, this is the dinner table. Living space here, a little bathroom. So basically, I've been staying at this house for two months. Going on three months now. And surprisingly, you know, a lot of you guys are probably guessing, like, how did Edgar, like, y'all know Edgar from high school? Edgar, how do you get into a freaking $3 million house? Well, guess what? I do not own this house. Of course, like most of you guys would guess. And, but you guys are also wondering, $3 million house, how much rent is he paying? I mean, well... I'm not paying rent. I'm not paying rent. I'm not paying bills. I'm not paying light, gas, nothing. Basically, I'm staying here for free. And not just for free, because I'm actually getting paid to be here. Getting paid to be here. Freaking got this big old house. Got my little office here where I, where I work on some stuff. Gotta keep that, gotta keep them sour patch ready, you know what I mean? And staying here for free, don't pay anything, and I'm actually receiving income from it. So that's pretty crazy, right? Like how did I, you guys are probably wondering, how did I align this thing here? Well, I guess. They say in life, you build your own luck, right? But sometimes you just get lucky. So I guess I can say that I got lucky today. 
I'm staying at this house, getting paid for it. Don't have to do much. I just gotta clean up after myself. Make sure it looks nice and clean. You know, typical stuff you do at your typical house. Well, most of you, because I don't know. Anyways. How did I land this? Uh, basically, I've been working with the customer for a while. He trusted me. He asked me if I wanted to do this for him. I said, yeah. You know, I got you. I'll take care of you. Flat lining here. So, um, take care of the house. I'm not sure how long I'll be out here, but definitely, uh, I'm definitely enjoying it while I'm here. This is the master bedroom here. Decent size for a king. Got the master closet. The ladies always take over. Like, man, fellas, why you let you ladies take over your closet, man? Big ass closet. No, but I ain't tripping that. So this is the closet. That's the ladies closet, of course. The last man get this little closet here. Tiny as hell, don't even fit nothing. But we do have the most important thing. Enough space to put some kicks, I mean? Speaking of shoes, I got some freaking cactus plant something. Nikes that I got to clean up. Like, damn, I'm slacking. This is a master um, master bathroom. Pretty clean, pretty clean. And yeah, this is basically the tour of the house. I'm not gonna go back there and show you guys. I'll show you guys a different day. But yeah, this is it. Got the neighbors out there smoking weed. They always be tripping me out there. Anyways, short little YouTube video. I got some time. So I'm saying what's good, hit me up, y'all wanna see another video. Talk about basically what I'm doing, what I'm up to. So like I said, um, uh, most of the people here are like from high school or whatever. So basically what I've been doing, I have like my own business, I do kitchen cabinets, sell, so we also do installation and everything. So that's what I'm up to. Um, might make more of these videos if I have time, so yeah. It was cool. It was fun. I'm look back into this like in a month. Be like, why the hell was I doing that shit? But fuck it. Peace.